all of us here in the resort are terribly excited about the last offering for the evening. For the very first time, we venture into the world of 3D. Tonight's last contestant will need to guide a spaceship through a field of asteroids before docking on the mothership. The spaceship can take five hits, but after each hit, it will lose firepower and weapons. Pray, don your glasses and revel in the heightened awareness of this 3D experience. All over Britain, hands are snaking into trouser pockets, ready to whip out the 3D specs in preparation for the big one. Yes, the first ever 3D challenge on terrestrial television. It's so big, I'm not going to offer it to one challenger or two. I'm going to pick three challengers out of our audience here. So if there's anybody that fancies a spot of 3D malarkey, please whip your hands in the air. Let me have a look. And, uh, yes, gentlemen in outrageously red tracksuit bottoms there. Yes, you, that's one of them. And uh, let me see if I can pick someone else. You're going to have to go a bit louder than that then. OK, very old gentleman, far too old to be playing games. Yes, you, sir, with a slightly receding blonde hair. And uh, one more person. Um, oh, yes, tragically on hip waistcoat, up there top. Yes, you, gentlemen. And give him a round of applause for our three volunteers. <laughs> Welcome to the show. All right. Welcome, young man. All right, then. OK, thank you very much. Right, let's turn to you first. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Scott and I'm from Leicester. What's your have a son named Scott? Dawkins. Scott Dawkins from Leicester. You're not related to me by any chance, are you, Scott? No. No? Oh, well, never mind. All right, now let's go to you. What's your name? Uh, Gary. Gary, where are you from, uh, Gary? I'm from Northampton. From Northampton. Yeah. Are you not a bit old to be mucking about with these video games? I've come with the kids. All right, that's yeah, what he all said. <laughs> all right, now, finally, what's your name? Nitesh. Nitesh, where are you from, Nitesh? Leicester. Leicester. Are you quite, quite good at these type of games? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? No, OK, then. Well, Nitesh, since you're so confident, I think you can go last, actually. I'll put you as the favourite. Gary, I'm afraid that since you're older, oh. you might take longer to get in and out of the chair, so we'll let you start off so you've got a bit longer to get ready. And uh, I'm going to put you second. OK, if we're all ready then, get in the chair, Gary, and off we go. Joining me in the missionary position for this challenge is Stephen the Baptist. Welcome, Stephen. Good evening, Dominic. Stephen, you are looking remarkably good in your glasses well, that, tonight. That's extremely kind of you, I must say. <laughs> now, Stephen, it's a fairly simple challenge, yeah. this, yeah? Yeah, that's right. It's a very simple challenge. Unfortunately, the controls are extremely sensitive, so the contestants need to stay on course. If they go wandering off, they'll get lost in the depths of 3D space. And, Stephen, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. <laughs> well, now the time has come. Would the nation and our audience rise in unison and don your special 3D glasses now? Splendid. OK, has everyone got them on there? Yeah. OK, each of our challengers has to keep their spaceship intact and dock with the mothership before the time runs out. Gary, are you ready? Yes, Dominic. Best of luck, mate. Off you go. So off goes Gary. How many hits can a spaceship take in this, Steve? You can take about five hits. Every time he gets hit by an asteroid or a piece of his space debris, he'll lose a bit of the ship. OK. Well, he started off very well here. Yes, he's ducking, dodging and diving all over the place. He certainly is. He's keeping a very sort of central part. Oh, he's lost oh no, he took a hit there. Yeah. So his uh, spaceship immediately becomes smaller. He's still keeping a, a nice sort of like central path here. That's Steve. right, yeah. He Not doesn't need to go off, away. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't need to go off too far off course before. He's here we go. For... Oh, is oh that... he's lost a bit more. He's lost another little bit of his ship that is getting smaller. As long as he conserves more... his lasers, oh, he's no. lost them both. He's, he's just hit twice. He's, he's weaponless. He's weaponless now. He's weaponless. And he's now shipless completely. <laughs> so Gary still had 51 seconds left, but unfortunately his spaceship got zapped. So his challenge is over and he makes way for Scott. Are you ready, Scott? I'm ready, Dominic. Off you go. Ship's launching. Here goes Scott. Now, where's the, where's the ship he's aiming for, Steve? It's that big, the big thing in the background there, really. All right, the thing okay. you see just towards the top of your screen now, that's sort of move. a tilted spherical thing. Oh, dear, not the best of starts by Scott there. No, he's already taken one hit, I think. Yes, Here I we go. That, Stephen. So he's basically got to keep this mothership in his sights. If he keeps it in sight, yeah, if it wanders off the screen, oh, as no, I said earlier, oh, another one. If it wanders off the screen, he's going to be lost, really. OK, now he's lost his... Uh, he's only got his two side rockets now. Oh, he's lost one of them. As long as he can conserve this final laser, he should be OK. He's only shooting from one pod now. Same as my Uncle Bert. <laughs> Here we go. He's getting very close. This is an impressive... He's doing very well. He's already lasted longer than Gary has. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! no. He's 
Oh no! He's only got his bare naked little ship left. His weaponless. He's got to make it without any Completely weaponless. artillery at all. He's doing well. Oh, he's, he's doing diving about. Well. Here he Okay. He's getting very oh, close. Oh, no. oh no! He was oh, no. just on the lip of the mothership, but he got completely wasted. So unfortunately, Scott's challenge is over, and now we go on to Nitesh. Nitesh, are you ready? Yeah. Then off you go. And off goes Nitesh, launching with a little bit of a spot there, Steve. Yeah, just testing his lasers, making sure they're in operation. Making sure his tubes are clean. <laughs> And off he goes. Oh, oh he's taking a hit already, taking a hit Steve. already, that's right. Now, there's no danger of his time ring out, providing he stays on course and keeps the mothership in sight. That's right, we can see the mothership is slightly tilted there. It's a very strange-looking design, yeah, the mothership it's, it's there, It's quite Steve. maternal in its own little way. It certainly looks very, very vacuous in there. <laughs> very womb-like. Oh, he's taking another hit. He's not doing that well, but... He's just down oh, to his two, his two little side seat pods there. He's doing very well here. He's actually, rather than avoiding every obstacle, he's actually shooting them down. Right, so that way he doesn't have to veer too far off the path and keep the mothership That's in right. his sights. He's doing well now, actually. He hasn't taken a hit for some time. He's getting quite close to it now. He's doing extremely well. He's still got 39 Is seconds it, left here, Steve. He can serve both of his lasers. Oh, oh no! Dear. Oh, no. He's <laughs> lost one, he's lost two now. It's only his bare naked ship there. Probing the goes. depths of space. He's getting quite close, though. He's still got 23 oh, seconds left. Come on! Oh, we just missed it. Come on, Nitesh, you can do it. You he's can coming do it, in, he's just about to bite him. He's coming in the final oh, no. 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 Oh. Oh, I don't believe it! Just as he was about to dock, Nitesh gets walloped by a meteorite, which means his challenge also has ended in failure. Round of applause for our three challengers. <laughs> All right, then, settle down. OK, none of you managed to do it, so let's have three quick excuses in rapid succession. Gary. My glass is steamed up. Scott. Too sensitive. Nitesh. There's too many obstacles. Well, I was left remarkably unstirred by all three, but let's give him another round of applause anyway. Gary Scott Nitesh. <laughs> well, the 